My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will have a look at how you can make your own composable in Vue 3. And so composables are amazing pieces of kit to kind of abstract pieces of code you might reuse all over the place. And so they completely replace mix-ins and things like that from the Vue 2 era, and they are great. So let's have a look at VS Code to show you what I've done and how you can also do this stuff. So as you can see here, this is this is basically just a Vue 3 out of the box, simple um, app, nothing done to it, no weird configurations, nothing. And so basically um, there's a bunch of stuff that's commented out, that's for step two. So we're gonna start simple. So I have a completely synchronous um, composable here and this is use friends line. And the idea is because I like the TV show friends so that's why this is in here. Um, I want to get the line of somebody in that TV show based on their name. And I like that scene where they're breaking up. So where Ross and Rachel are on a break. And so I have made a line composable and you can see use friends line. There's always use in front of a composable. And that line just then becomes whatever that composable returns in this instance. And then you just show that line on the page. So in this case, I didn't add anything and it, it defaults to Ross. So let's cool off, let's get some frozen yogurt or something. That's what he says. And so I can also say, you know what? Give me Rachel. Then maybe we should take a break. So how does this actually look? So they always live in the composables folder. And here is your use friends line. And I'm using ref here because what I want to return from this composable in what I want to use this for should actually be something reactive. So that, that's why you use the ref here. And so I have some lines from Rachel, maybe we should take a break, and we have Ross, let's cool off, blah, blah, blah. You probably know this scene, and if you're too young, check out um, Friends on Netflix, it's really fun. And so basically, you export a function that's the same name as your file name. Um, you don't have to do that, but this is kind of like, this is the, the way most people do it, it's kind of the way few wants you to do it. And I literally, in this case, I get who, so Ross or Rachel, and the default is Ross here, and it literally just finds inside this array what that actor is and returns the name, or returns the line. This is extremely simple, but it's just, just to show you. And so it just grabs something from that list based on the name, shows you the line, there you go. So I can do Rachel, or I can do Ross, and when I hit save now, this is actually dynamically updated because um, it's a ref. It's really nice. Okay, so this is a relatively simple one. Um, it could also be that you're doing a lot of Ajax calls all over the place. And if that's the case, you might want to go to Nuxt and do other things. But imagine you're in Vue, right? You can actually make a use fetch composable yourself. You could probably also get that from the Vue Use Library, which is amazing, but that's for another video. So let me just import the Use Fetch Composable that I've made, and then show you all the things. So basically here I'm using Use Fetch, and what comes back from Use Fetch in this case is a data property. And there might also be other things coming back because of... Um, um, whatever you want, like errors or loading states, things like that. And so here I'm actually querying an API point that I have for my own conference talks for my press kit website, and I'm just limiting it to one result. So let's have a look. So basically what came back is one conference, which I'm speaking at next week. And so basically let's have a look at how this works. So in this case, I'm again grabbing RAF from Vue. And so I'm doing a few things here. I'm exporting the use fetch um, system um, or the name of the composable, sorry about that. So I have a data ref and an error ref in this case. So I'm fetching the URL that I'm giving to use fetch, then I actually get a result back. And because you're using fetch itself, you have to then cast it to JSON or to text, whatever you want to do. In this case, it's JSON. And then if it's good, I'm actually adding data.value is that JSON. And in this case, because data is a ref, if you want to set something in a ref, you do dot value and set it. If there's an error, it actually sets the error. So it returns both data and error. Of course, if there's no error, it stays null. 
But if there is an error, that is actually something that's also returned. So I could do something like this. Right? I could get back that error and use it. And so it's that simple. That's the way. And of course, you can do async await and a whole bunch of other stuff here. But this is just to show you how easy this is. And I can just say, you know what, let's limit it to three and see what comes out. Well, there's three, three of my upcoming talks, of which one already happened. And so that is how easy it is to actually make a composable. Um, that's what I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, replies, comments, whatever, different opinion, go to the comments and tell me. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.